Today I have a couple of interesting stories where we see Nvidia launching a brand new RTX 3090 Ti GPU that is very power hungry as well as updates on the upcoming Zen 4 CPUs. We also have leaked benchmarks of the Ryzen 5700X and a lot of info on the Arc Mobile GPUs as well as a sneak peek on the desktop Arc graphics card. So watch the video till the end and subscribe if you don't want to miss any latest PC hardware stories. Yesterday, Nvidia just launched the RTX 3090 Ti and even before the official reviews, I wanted to talk about how stupid I think 3090 Ti is. The GPU costs $2000 which is $500 more than the RTX 3090. The 3090 Ti features more CUDA cores and higher clock speeds. Most of the specs of this card is very close to the 3090, like the 24GB GDDR6X memory but with the exception of higher memory speed of 21GBPS. Now this card is going to consume roughly 100 watts more than the 3090. But all of this just to make it 10% faster than the 3090. Even the overclocked edition of this card provides a maximum of just 15% better performance than the 3090. And the power consumption easily reaches 500 watts or even more. So this GPU isn't worth talking about, especially when it's almost impossible to get one for $2000, which already makes it a poor value GPU. Next up we have a leak about Zen 4 CPUs. Graymon tweeted that the Rafale is about to enter into mass production. He continues saying that the packing plant has already prepared all the work, so the production should start in April or at least in the early May. I think that if the packing plant has already prepared all the work, it means that Ryzen 7000 series is already in mass production at TSMC. This means that we can surely see these chips before the end of this year, as the Ryzen 5000 series also entered in mass production in July 2020 and was launched in November the same year. So we are going to see the war between Rafale and Raptor Lake in the second half which will decide who is the real gaming CPU king. And if you cannot wait for the Ryzen 7000 CPUs, you can buy the Ryzen 5700X. Yes, we have a few more days before its official launch but we already have its leak benchmark which shows that it is equivalent to the Ryzen 5800X. The benchmark was seen on Geekbench where the Ryzen 5700X scored 1645 points in single core and 10196 points in multi-core tests. For comparison, the 5800X is around only 2% faster than the 5700X. It scores 1671 points in single core and 10338 points in multi core tests. Therefore, 5700X is providing comparatively higher value as its launch price is 299 US dollars, whereas the launch price for 5800X was 449 US dollars. However, the 5800X is right now available for less than $350. Therefore, the price gap isn't much as it was before the price drop of Ryzen 5800X. But it's still good to see that AMD is forced to price the new CPUs lower as people are preferring Intel Alder Lake CPUs. And speaking about gaming performance, the Intel Arc official launch just happened. Intel shared some crucial info about the mobile Arc GPUs, which coincides with the specs leak of yesterday. Intel is launching five discrete GPUs for gaming laptops, two of which belong to the budget Arc 3 family, one in the Arc 5 and two in the mid-high end Arc 7 family. The spec shows that the budget Arc 3 family GPUs will be called as A350M and A370M. These are going to feature 6 and 8 XC cores and will have 4 GB of VRAM on a 6 64-bit memory bus width. The A370M is going to have higher TDP range for higher performance and higher graphics clock sitting at 1550 MHz compared to 1150 on A350M. Similarly, the A550M is going to feature 16 XE cores, 8 GB of VRAM on a 128-bit bus with a TDP ranging from 60 to 80 watts. The mid-high end category features A730M and the A770M where the A770M is looking significantly faster with 8 more XE cores, 450 MHz higher GP clock, 4 GB more VRAM higher bus width and a higher TDP range. As for the performance, the RK 370M is supposedly able to provide over 60 FPS in most AAA titles at 1080p medium settings. It is supposedly up to 40% faster than the Intel Iris XE on the i7-1280p CPU. In older titles like GTA 5, Rocket League and Fortnite, the GPU is able to cross 90 FPS mark on medium to high settings. Intel also showed the XESS in action, however not much was shared on this one. Intel is going to release it in the early summer and all ARC GPUs are compatible with it. At last, Intel also showed the first ever cinematic video of a desktop ARC GPU. The GPU is supposed to be a limited edition card and looks very familiar to the RTX 20 series GPU design.
It comes with dual fans and plain heatsink shroud. Intel also showed the card from the inside where we can see the GPU die and the heatsink design which features several heat pipes embedded in the aluminium heatsink. The card looks like a two slot GPU and features four output slots for display, most of which are display ports. This card is going to be available in summers and as it is a limited edition GPU, I don't think that everyone will be able to buy it. Anyways, we finally have some glimpse of an actual Intel Arc GPU which does look like similar to the concepts we have seen before. Now there is even more to Arc GPUs which Intel shared in the stream even though the video is not very long. We will discuss about those details in the next video. So make sure you don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notifications to get notified as soon as the video is live. Till then take care and I will see you next time.